In this episode of Design Lab, I'll be developing MIDI control LED light strips. During this video, you'll see me go from individual parts to a working prototype, so stick around till the end and see it in action. I'm slowly working towards a redesign of the city, and as I've reviewed the current flaws, I realize there needs to be a better interface with the existing gear. As it is, it could connect with my synthesizer, but it'd be better if it could interface with the more common protocol. To be honest, generally integration has been a weak area for a lot of my projects. I remember the first real version of my synthesizer that I released. There was no CV input and no way of connecting it to another synthesizer. So I realized this is an area of improvement for me. There are plenty of protocols, standards, and signal types I could create an interface with, but I'm choosing MIDI to start with. The MIDI protocol is very versatile as there's so many data types and so many existing synthesizers, digital audio workstations like Ableton that you can connect with. In its simplest form, what I'm designing here is, is just an interface between the MIDI protocol and the protocol used by the WS2812B, otherwise known as the NeoPixel if you're not aware. For now it's just going to be a single MIDI input and a single LED strip. These days, I try to start with something simple. When I designed the data network of the city, I modeled it after the road networks of a real city. And it did work, but as I look at it now, I need to start much more simply. And once I do that, I could then work up and make it more complex when the need arises. Quick note before we begin. If this interface is cool enough and there's some demand, I've also thought about turning it into its own product, where music producers can add this to the existing workstation and light up their space with their music. Let me know if you're interested. So I didn't have a hardware synthesizer on me to test with, so I had to get myself a USB to MIDI interface so I could connect Ableton running on my computer to the Arduino. I got this particular one from Amazon, and it could be used for both inputting MIDI signals and outputting them too. There is a way to avoid using this cable altogether and plug in USB directly to the USB of the Arduino, but the software was a little more complicated than I want to deal with right now, so maybe that's a future project. Next, I had to build a MIDI test circuit. In this case, I'm using an off-board Arduino and a MIDI circuit based on the MIDI specifications. I'll add detailed links in the description. So with the circuit built, I had to connect a, a blank Arduino to it to program it. When I say blank Arduino, I mean I've removed the chip from this Arduino. And the reason why is detailed in another link I'll add to the description. They could explain it better than I can. The first program I'll upload is Blink. I try to add an LED to all my projects for debugging sake and this is no exception. And it works. So now that I confirmed all the connections are working, let's test the MIDI code. The particular library I'm using is 1x47FX. I've used this library before and it worked pretty well last time I remember, so I'm going to be using it again. I had to change the code a bit so it turns on the LED when it receives a note on message on channel 1 and then turn it off when it receives a note off message on channel 1. So I was able to upload the code to the Arduino, but I'm not sure if it works yet because I haven't sent a MIDI message, so let's get that going. So I'm going to open up a new Ableton project and plug in the MIDI interface. It should be automatically detected, but I may have to go into preferences to turn it on. Once I've done that, I'll grab an empty MIDI track and drag an external instrument on it. I'll select the right MIDI output and channel. And you should be able to press some keys on your keyboard and you should see the MIDI message go through. The USB interface should be blinking with each MIDI note. And we can see that the Arduino is blinking too now. As I mentioned before, the LED turns on with the note on message and then turns off with the note off message. So I want to see the data come into the Arduino and see what it kind of looks like so I can analyze it. I changed the code a bit to add some print statements, uploaded it, so then I open the serial monitor to see my print messages and... Uh, hmm. Hmm. My first guess is it's a baud rate issue? No, still not working. Hmm. It could be because I'm using the same... It could be a serial monitor? Hmm. It could be serial error, I'm not sure exactly, but I kind of want to move on. It's not exactly essential. I could probably look into this later if I need it. So now that the MIDI communication is working, I'm going to get the LED code working now. And then after that, I'll combine the two. So I'm using the fast LED library because I've heard it's faster and more capable than the Adafruit NeoPix library, which is what I was using before. So now that I installed the fast LED library, I go into the examples and open Blink. I had to refer to the chips pinout to change the pin on the code. Great, worked on the first try. So this is just blinking red. I want to add some color in there. 
So I have to kind of go through the online documentation for FastLED and kind of familiarize myself with the code as I'm not exactly sure how the FastLED library handles RGB and HSV color modes for the LED. After some reading, playing around with the examples and trial and error, I've, I eventually got it working. So now that the MIDI code is working and the fast LED code is working individually, it's time to combine the two. So I use the MIDI code as a starting point and then I grab the essential bits from the fast LED code and add it in. The way I've programmed it is that MIDI messages will modify the color of the LED. And as usual, I had to cross-reference the documentation for both the MIDI and the fast LED libraries to fill in the gaps of my knowledge. Then Ableton, I just made a simple MIDI track and then I tried to display it with the LED. Boom. A single LED works, but I want to strip. So as usual, I try to start as simple as possible and work up from there. The simplest way to go from a single LED to a strip is to just add in a small number of LEDs in the strip. If I were to try to light up the whole strip, it would require a separate power supply and be a bit more complicated. So I'm just gonna keep it simple and just add in 10. I'm powering everything from USB and 10 LEDs is not enough to cause a problem. So from here, I start experimenting with the library a bit, trying up different light up effects. I do this to kind of get a bit familiar with the library and understand its inner workings. So I mean, I'm pretty excited that everything works and I was able to set up the foundation for the project. But then it became kind of clear to me that I need to really learn how this fast LED library works. It's a bit more complex than what I was used to with the Adafruit library. What I'll probably do is actually remove the MIDI part of it for now and just work with the LED light strip to understand that library and then I'll combine the two again at some point. So stay tuned for the next iteration of the design lab where I'll be adding in the strip and working with the effects.